Welcome to the BFME1 online battle arena in a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the map 3 boots of Harnin. My opponent was pre-picking the Isengard faction and we will get to play with the Gondor faction. For Gondor, for the White City. Let's make Denethor proud, shall we? And also I'm gonna try something different, you know. I don't like to uh, use always the meta build. So let's go for the infantry strat with the barracks opening. And yeah, let's go. To be honest, it's been a long time since I played the 1v1 match on this map the last time. So I need to yeah, kind of pay attention a little bit. When you play as Condor against Aizen, you always want to open with the Alvin Wood because, you know, Aizen can't cover this. So look at this trick. We build it and then we get out. And then we cancel it to get the full money back. Watch this. We cancel it. Nice. You see? I mean, I think my opponent is a little bit too late for the defense. I already went really, really far with my soldiers. So, oh my god, there is a creep actually. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game, bro. Uh, he's way too late. He's way too late. He will be punished for this. In a 1v2 situation, he cannot win. Because his warchant is not working on my land. My land is negating his leadership bonuses. And I will not stop making more soldiers. So we can use this pathway over there. And this way easily reach to this side. Okay. I mean, the beautiful part is we will even hit level 2, uh, you know. Watch this. And level 2. Easy. Easy. Okay, to be fair, I think my opponent has not uh, the most amount of experience in this game. But that doesn't mean that I will go easy on him. I will not go easy on him, you know. He needs to learn it uh, the hard way. I mean, he's gonna just feed me a lot of power points there. And also, my Hobbit is gonna level up like crazy. Level 3 soldier. You know, it's quite uh, beefy. And I want to go for the Tower Guards, actually, to creep the whole map. Because Tower Guards can indeed creep the Warclayer solo. Um, it's a threat we don't see very often, though. Because most people uh, like to go for the, for the Knights of Gondor. But... You know, if I would be like the most people, I wouldn't call myself beyond standards. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go in. This level three is gonna be so so strong. Watch this level two. Boom! We share experience. Put Mary next. Not Mary. Pippi next to the. Next to the soldiers. Okay, let's keep moving. And we're gonna do the same. Look, we're gonna put Pippin next to the soldiers and he will get experience from this. Look, you see? From level 2 to level 4. That's how you can make your heroes, all of them actually, passively level up way, way easier. Okay, we can send this injured soldier battalion back to the base. Then later on we can build a well there, you know, we should be good to go. And let's creep this ward layer to the top. I, think I, show potential. I mean, we have a level 4 Hobbit, you know, that's gonna be uh, super, super strong. And we have like full map, so my opponent is super broke. And he will not ready, he will not be ready for that while it's about to come, boys. Building an army worthy of Gondor. More tower guards. And what you can, what we will do later on, and what you can do also, is to combine your tower guards with your soldiers for the ultimate infantry combination. This combination is exclusively available in 2.22. It's pretty much similar situation to the Uru Pikeman combination. I like the combo uh, possibility a lot. That's super unique to BFME 1, BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King doesn't offer you anything like that. 
And also, I am a big fan of this small battalion size, you know? Like a small squad. Look at the tower guards. They look deadly. We will combine them now. Or even a more deadly combination. And bring more and more tower guards every few seconds. That's the goal. Level 5 soldier. Level 5 Pippin. Super, super strong. Keep on your guard. Let us claim this field. Have any good stories for me? We are creeping everything, boys. We hobbits really don't like killing. Prepare for battle. Look my peeping damage, dude. That's crazy, isn't it? We are one-shotting the Vorks. You see how... Like, that's gonna be the perfect example how OP levels are in this game, you know? How crazy strong the levels are. Okay, now what we will do is we will buy upgrades for our units, you know? And also, later on, we will recruit Boromir. Because there can't be a squad of infantry Gondorians without the leader, you know, without their captain. We are creeping everything. I told you, the combination of Tower Guard Soldier, pretty strong. Now we will have in total one, two, three, four. Uh, four battalions of the soldier tower guard combination. Some people used to call this combination the combo of doom. Just because of their power. And to make it even more powerful, we will recruit their leader, the captain, the greatest captain Gondor has ever produced. Sorry, Faramir. I know that one hurts, but... That one actually shouldn't hurt, because... If your father chooses your brother over you, nothing can hurt you anymore in this world. I stand in my father's name. Ready your weapons. The heavy armor is ready. Oh, they are bringing the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> can I cloak him, please? Please. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. No, Pippin. I will revenge you, Pippin. Oh, I want to take a selfie of this combo, actually. This combo is looking juice. I'm going to use land over there. Uh, I was a little bit too late with the land. You can use very fast the second land. Look, the speed differential between Boromir and the combos. The combos are super slow. That's their main weakness. And look at this army, boys. Is this army making you proud? Is this all you wanted? The infantry meta back on the menu, boys. With their leader, Boromir. For Gondor! <laughs> the city of Skiliath. Men of Gondor, rally again. I mean, now I'm wondering, like, how can you how can you even defend Gondor this? Like, in order to defend this, he needs to have Saruman, he needs to have Lourdes to pin me down. He I needs to have, I don't know, uh, you know, a couple of combos. But we know for certain that he can't have all of that, what I just mentioned, because he is broke. He has no money. He didn't have any slaughterhouse or a lumber mills outside for a very long time. I'm pretty sure that he has even an empty base. We will see, though. He has Urupit level 2. And here we need to try to get our Boromir... Uh, he has empty base. We need to try to get our Boromir to level 4. Again, the same situation like with the Hobbit. Put him next to the combos. And you can share experience. Look, the placement is super important. Watch. Boom. You see? Easy. And these steps will always help you to get your heroes to the desired rank. So they add much more to the table. You go there. You go there. You go there. The invasion. <laughs> you want to fight this? I'm gonna, I want to get you the Horn of Condor, boys. Let's rotate the camera a little bit. Okay, are you ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Stun them. You know, once I want to try to rush Boromir and then Ganath actually. Just to try this horn blast combination once. GG well played, it was a quick game, but hopefully it was, you know, enough to show you that the infantry can be at least as strong as the cavalry. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself, keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.